It, it, it drives me crazy. In fact, uh, my staff will also tell you uh, that uh, I drive them crazy uh, when it comes to our gear in terms of how we pack and how we and how we position uh, our gear. And uh, I literally am I'm OCD when it comes to that. It is because, uh, again, when you leave, when you go out, uh, there's nothing worse than say, "Oh, I left that at school." Well, that don't help us here. Uh, and, and, and again, that's what we learned. And so that's what we were taught. It was drilled into us. And so, uh, that literally is, is in my brain every single day. And so, uh, so I'm always telling, uh, students, uh, whether it's students here when I talk to classes or when I go to other camp, or other campuses, other high schools, junior high schools, even colleges, that literally the things that are being taught. Uh, can you can apply to whatever your career is 30, 40 years later. And so um, in November, I'll turn uh, 54. I graduated here in 87. Uh, and so folks will ask me all the time. They'll say, well, you know, you know, uh, how are you able to do all these different things? And in December, I was inducted to the National Association of Black Journalists Hall of Fame. Uh, and um, in October, uh, I got the call three weeks ago that I'll be inducted into the Society of Professional Journalists Hall of Fame. And uh, students will ask me, or folks will ask me, well, you know, what is it? And I will literally tell them it's really, it's really defined by work ethic. It's defined by uh, what it is that you're willing to do to be the best at what you do. And that really, for me, everything started here. Uh, that was a thing. I said last year when I came onto this, when I came onto the campus, uh, of course, uh, the building no longer exists, but it was still on this property. I literally made it clear uh, that I said my goal is not only to be the best student that graduated, but the best student that ever graduated, which means that you're setting a standard so if anybody's coming after you, that means that they would have to exceed that standard. And that is a mentality that was fostered. And so that to me is why it's important uh, to have programs uh, like our School of Communications or the additional magnet programs across HISD because it gives you an opportunity to actually have a college level experience and expertise. So when you actually get to college, when I got to Texas A&M, I was literally more advanced in communications than the seniors who were there. So really, college was, uh, I treated it as a master's level as opposed to going into undergrad. And that all began uh, here. And so that the folks who taught me, uh, the folks who, uh, who, who counsel, all of those things. And so uh, I, I'm always ex saying to people that literally uh, everything they've done in my career, newspaper, television, magazine, radio, uh, you name it, uh, really began uh, with what we were taught here. And that's why it was important. I could have easily started a scholarship uh, at Texas A&M. Or, or one of the 65 HBCUs I've been to, or one of the 14 HBCUs I've given commencement speeches at, uh, but I purposely wanted it uh, for this high school because I also understand uh, what happens when you need those resources uh, to be able to go to school. Uh, this scholarship also was purposely not created for four-year institutions because one of the biggest mistakes that I think we make is that, we're, we, that there are a lot of people who can't afford to go to a four-year college, but they can, they can, they can right now go to a two-year college, and so that was, that was purposeful, purposeful. And the other piece, uh, I think too many scholarships are also created for students with grade point averages of 3.0 or higher. Uh, the issue for me, uh, this is a skill set business. It doesn't mean that I'm ignoring uh, academics, but the bottom line is, it's a whole bunch of people who I went to college with who have 4.0s who had no idea what the hell they were doing. Uh, and so it's really a skill set. And so I, want, I did not want this to be driven by that. I wanted to be driven by someone who wanted to advance in the business uh, and wanted to be able to uh, go to the next level. And for some folks, that's not necessarily how well they do in other courses. My whole deal is how well, you, how well are you doing communications? And that was the most important thing. So uh, certainly glad to be back. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, award these scholarships. All right, let's see here. Uh, so uh, first up 
And and I said, now last year, and I didn't do this. We didn't do this. Okay, so we got to remind. We got to do it next year. So I, uh, I, I, I my, one of my stipulations was that I would talk to each one of the students before we award the scholarship. I want to get a sense of where they were going. So now you're going to say it here, okay? Because we didn't do it beforehand. So uh, first off is uh, Mario Alvarado. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right. So we're going to take a picture over here. Then you're going to see a few words. You got to tell us um, where you're going to school, what you want to study, uh, and what do you want to be when you uh, get bigger. Hello, everyone. My name is Mario Alvarado, and okay, don't hit the table. I think it's a little sensitive. Sorry. It's all good. So, hello, everybody. My name is Mario Alvarado. I'll be pr uh, pursuing a degree in computer science this fall, and I will be attending Colgate University in uh, upstate New York. What I want to do with my degree is uh, start my own uh, company, like a software company. When I was younger, my parents used to live in Katy, where it was predominantly Hispanic. My area was mostly Hispanic, and um, I didn't know any English when my father got deported and we came to Houston. So that was like really difficult for me. And then to learn English uh, fast, I used an app called Duolingo. I don't know if y'all familiar with that app. and. Um, when I got to the fifth grade, I was like struggling mentally, and then I was like depressed. And seeing that my mom was depressed, I wanted to make change. I learned how to speak English uh, using Duolingo, and by the time I got to the sixth grade, I was speaking English fluently. I don't know if you can tell from right now, but yes. So with my degree, I'm planning to start my own platform that helps other students achieve the same goal that I did, which was to learn a new English, whether it be for fun or whether it be for you know for your own needs, like I like it was for me. Thank you. All right. All right, cool. Thank you. Now, one of, the reasons, one of the reasons I like that is because, uh, look, entrepreneurship is, is critically important, uh, and uh, being able to own also gives you the flexibility and the creativity to do what you want. And so the reason I'm able uh, to get the scholarships out because I actually own my own company. Uh, created, uh, did that, and that was which was always the mission. Uh, so the ability to be able to hire people, uh, we have so perfect example when um, Black News Channel shut down. They were they had several interns they'd already agreed to, and uh, I got a call. It was a young woman with North Carolina A and T University who had one of their paid internships. When the company shut down, she was totally screwed. There was no internship. And so they reached out to me. And so uh, next week, uh, we should be beginning uh, a paid internship uh, with my company. And then uh, I reached out to, uh, and then they had three other students uh, who were also supposed to get internships. Uh, and then we're actually funding all four of those. And so that's also when, you have, when you're able to own, you're able to create those opportunities. Uh, and so that's why it's important as well. So uh, Mario, congratulations with that. And so, and good luck uh, with your company. All right. All right, next recipient is Kennedy Colon. Kennedy? How you doing? Time you talk. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kendi Colin, and I'll be going to Howard University for the fall, and I'll be studying early childhood education. Um, I want to open up my own daycare. Uh, I love working with younger children. Mom always tells me, Kendi, I don't know how you do it. I don't know. I don't have the patience for it, but you do. I don't know how you're going to do it. And that's just something I'm really passionate about. I love seeing little kids learn new things and just be able to enjoy themselves. So I'll be opening up my own daycare. Yeah. Very cool. 
So that must mean, mean she like taking care of kids right now for free. So she she try she trying to get paid to actually do it. All right then. Uh, the next uh, recipient uh, is it Kaylee Williams? Yes. Kaylee. All right, cool. Kaylee, come on up. Okay, I'm really bad at public speaking, so I'm sorry, but I'm Kaylee. I will be attending University of St. Thomas in the fall to study psychology, and my reason for studying psychology would be to eventually become a therapist, because even now, I've always had friends who like to tell me about their problems, and I really like giving solutions, so being able to make people feel better and put them into a better space in their life would help me and also helping people. So that's what I want to do. So really your friends talk, tell you the problems for free right now, so you want to get paid for it. You know, man, I mean, I get it. I get it. All right, makes sense. All right, then. So again, congratulations to all three. So we're going to do this here. We'll take a group photo. So if all three of y'all step on, I got it. I got it. This ain't my first rodeo. All right, so all three of y'all just line up. And then we'll take a group photo. First of all, I apologize. I have a senior at Young Women's, uh, and so <clears throat> today was their signing day, and so, yeah. Thank you all <laughs> for being here. I'm the loser today, but my babies are important, so I rushed, I rushed, but I can't rush another the principal. So, <laughs> My apologies, but congratulations. I'm proud of you all. She's number three also, but so I'm proud of y'all. Thank you again, Mr. Martin, and thank you all for coming out and celebrating with us. Thank you. So again, so I want to thank uh, everybody uh, who worked on this. Uh, certainly congratulations to all three of you uh, as well. And so uh, use, use the money wisely. I uh, know uh, student debt is uh, no joke. Uh, these days, tuition is a lot different than uh, when I was in college, and so uh, I've always believed that uh, every little bit absolutely helps. And so, again, congratulations, uh, and always represent uh, JY wherever you go, uh, whether it's at Howard uh, or Colgate or University of St. Thomas. Uh, and of course, you're going to have to represent JY at Howard, uh, <laughs> considering a uh, uh, number of Yates graduates uh, who, uh, who have finished from Howard. Uh, and so, uh, again, congratulations, uh, and glad to see everyone here, and thanks for coming out. Cool. That's fine. Cool. Photos with parents. Come on.
going.